Here's a SAT math question that you may see in your math class, but I'd like to show you the SAT method as well. First, the way you would have done this using your um, school method. Using elimination, of course you could use substitution, but elimination is much better for this question. You want to get rid of the Y by multiplying the second equation by 3. Okay, so the first equation, we leave it alone. The second equation, we multiply by 3, giving us 3. Okay, and if we add up and down, meaning if we combine the first and the second equation, we get to cross out the positive 3y and the negative 3y, giving us 11x equals 121. Then, Divided by 11 on the left and the right side, we get x equals to 11. All right, so we found our, the value of our x. So we're going to be plugging in 11 right there. Now, all we need to do is go ahead and find the value of y so we could plug it into the 40y. How do we find the y? Well, let's take that 11, plug it into the second equation. You could have done it to the first as well, but I prefer the second. So it's going to be 3 times 11 minus y equals 30. So again, notice instead of the x, I have the 11 in the x position. So I have 33 minus y equals 30, or y is equal to 3. All we have to do now is take the 3, plug it into y. All right, let's do it down here. So we get 100 times 11 plus 40 times 3. By the way, this was on a no calculator section, meaning section 3 of the SAT math. So we're going to have to do this without a calculator. 100 times by 11, all you're going to do is write down the 11 and add the two zeros. 40 times 3, take the 3, multiply to the 4, giving you a 12, and just tack on the 0 after, like so. If we add these, then we get 1, 2, 2, 0, or 1,220. And that will be the answer for this question. But as you can see, it took quite a few, um, maybe one too many, steps for SAT purposes. Remember, for the SAT, you have to, get, you have to try and get the question done as quickly as possible. You're limited on time. So let me erase this and show you the SAT method to get the question done much quicker. All right, here we have the same question. This time I'm going to be doing it the SAT way, SAT way, meaning the quicker way to get the question done as quickly as possible and save us some time. First of all, I'm just going to go ahead and add up and down. Let's see what happens. We get 5x plus 2y is 61. Also, from the 100x plus 40y, let's go ahead and take out a 20, meaning factor a 20 out. So it becomes 20 times 5x plus 2y. Time to do a quick substitution. See that 5x plus 2y here? It's equal to 61. And we have that 5x plus 2y. So we could take that 61 and substitute it or plug it in to that and replace that. So we end up getting 20 times 61. And to take 20 times 61, you would do 61 times 2, 2 and 12. So this would equal to 1, 2, 2. Only thing is, all, you just got to go ahead and add the 0. Remember, this is a no calculator section. So knowing how to do these um, is important as well. So there you have it, folks. Final answer, 1,220. Just like, same as the first method. Only difference is that it took a lot less steps, a lot less time. Meaning, if you could save some time here, you could use this time onto another question that's even more difficult or more complicated. And instead of you running out of time, if you're able to do one extra question, that's another 10 points or 20 points on the SAT math. Okay? So 
I hope you learn the SAT method always, whenever it's possible. Look for that because it's there. Here's our second problem for the uh, video today. And it's another algebraic equation um, that I found on the SAT math that was given about three years ago. And this was on a calculator section. So if we need to, we can use the calculator. However, for this particular question, calculator will not help. Okay? First of all, I'm going to go ahead and combine these two fractions using the across crisscross method. What it is is that I multiply across for the denominator, meaning x minus 2 times x plus 5. And then the crisscross is such that I take the bottom right, multiply to the top left, and take the bottom left, multiply to the top right. So we get 2 times x plus 5 plus 3 times x minus 2. Okay? This way, in one step, you're able to combine two fractions with variables rather than looking for the uh, common denominator, multiplying the numerator, denominator, and all that mumbo-jumbo. Rather, just use that one step across crisscross method, and you're able to combine two fractions with variables right away. The right side, we have rx plus t all over x minus 2 times x plus 5. And without explaining all the algebraic um, properties and whatnot, remember, you're allowed to go ahead and cross out the left and the right side of the equal sign as long as they're both on the bottom or in the denominator. Okay, So having these two crossed out, we're left with 2x plus 10. Whoa, notice I took the 2, distribute it in here, plus take the 3, distribute it in here, gives us 3x minus 6 equals rx plus t. Let's go ahead and combine the 2x and the 3x, so we get 5x. 10 minus 6, we get a 4, and that's equal to rx plus t. Rather than using any equation, all you got to do is match it up. What do I mean? The 5 in, is in front of the x, r is in front of the t, so that means r equals 5. Next, 4 does not have an x next to it, t does not have an x next to it. It means that we could go ahead and match up the 4 with the t, giving us t equals 4. Okay, so I'm going to plug in 5 for r. 4 for t, right here, and get 20 as our final answer. Alright, so I've shown you uh, two questions, two algebraic questions that were, again, in the past SAT, and um, I hope the, some of the, the shortcut methods that I've shown you today will help you do better uh, on your next SAT.